Hi, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm continuing my series of harmonica hacks, and today I'm going to tell you how to cheat your way through playing in third position. Today I have a really simple trick which will get you playing third position blues, as my wife likes to say, immediately if not sooner. Now experienced third position players would use lots of technique and their vast experience to inform their playing, but what I want to give you today is something that will get you going straight away, so that if you just want to give third position a go without any practice as such, or if you're required to play in third position in a band or a jam setting, you'll know what to do straight away. So the first thing to know is that we're talking here about minor blues. That is where the vast majority of third position playing is done, okay? So all your favourite players, Little Walter, Big Walter, the Sonny Boy Williamson's, Whoever your favourite players are, they probably do some third position playing, and it's likely that they're doing it for minor blues. So get yourself a minor blues backing track, and that'll give you an idea of what minor blues sounds like, or if you're aware of what minor blues is, stick on your favourite minor blues track. We are using a C harmonica. If you're getting a backing track, you want a D minor backing track. Today we're not talking so much about which notes to play, as we are about which notes not to play. So we have avoid notes, and our avoid notes are three draw and seven draw. And the basis of this trick is really down to just avoiding those notes. You can play any other notes on the instrument, but don't play the three and the seven draw. And that will give you a very quick way into sounding like a minor blues third position harmonica player. I've put some tab on the screen and this is a practice exercise for putting this into your playing. Now it's split up strangely into lines, we're going to talk a bit about why that is in a minute, but first let's just have a go at playing those notes. So you can just go up the harmonica as it's shown on the screen. If you can't get the bent notes that I've put in brackets, just leave them out. I will play them, but just ignore them if not. So if we start with the one blow and we move up that tab that we've got on the screen right up to the 10 blow, the note selection we will have will be something like this. Now by the way, this isn't going to sound very cool to begin with. We're going to do something really interesting after to make it a lot cooler. Let's just get the notes first. <laughs> Okay, nothing particularly musical or interesting about that, I hear you say. Now, why are the lines written as they are in the tab? Why have I got one blow on its own and then four blow on its own on the third line? The reason is, the second thing I want you to do when you're cheating in third position is to use the one draw and the four draw and then also the eight draw as your landing notes. So what I mean by that is in second position, often you kind of finish up on the two draw or the six blow. In first position, often you end up on the one blow or the four blow. In third position, we want to rethink that and end up, start and end, sometimes you might start there and then go off and return, on the one draw, four draw, and the eight draw. And that will turn those notes we've just played from just sounding like a load of notes, into sounding like they're based around a minor blues scale. So if I drop out that one blow, and I start on the one draw and just go up to the four draw, suddenly it sounds minor. If we start mixing them around, Suddenly it's starting to sound very cool, very bluesy and minor. 
If I do the same from four draw up to eight draw, so that's line four of that tab, I get. If I start doing a little bit of a bend on the six, then it starts to sound even cooler. The higher notes can still be used. They don't tend to, at least on their own, if they're not played as, as octaves with the lower notes, they don't tend to sound that full and rich, especially on a C harmonica, which is quite high. It doesn't really sound that impressive, but the, the notes are there and you can obviously still use them. There are so many melodies out there that fit with this set of notes we're practicing. If you've seen my video on Mini the Moocher, which I released a few weeks ago, that song is based around this set of notes. And all that we're doing is taking those avoid notes and saying, well, they don't fit with this kind of minor blues scale, so they're not going to work for us. If I put the seven draw in, for example, you'll hear how it stands out. Oh, that's the seven draw. It really doesn't give us anything. It doesn't fit with that scale. You can skip past it. You can glissando past that note and get away with it, but you don't want to use it as a melodic note or, or hang on it for too long. If you're an experienced second position player, you're probably pretty good with playing licks and, and riffs in that position. <laughs> If you've got that kind of ability to move around the notes, bend the notes, then just apply that to this set of notes, but get used to returning to the four draw, the one draw instead of the two draw. So. That's the four draw I'm finishing with there. Now that might be above some of you, you're kind of over your heads and you're going, oh, it's all good and well for you. The best way to get good at this is to just take it slowly with that set of notes Pick one kind of four hole area, holds one to four or holds four to seven. That's four, five, six, seven, yeah, that's four holes. And just practice going around that set of notes and changing the order of them. All you have to do is remember those avoid notes and everything you come out with will sound kind of bluesy and really quite cool and will fit in third position. Then stick on your D minor blues backing track and give it a wail and hopefully you'll get something out of it. I hope this little hack helps you get started in third position. I'll be back next week with another harmonica lesson. I put out a free harmonica lesson every single week and I take requests. So please, if you've got a song or a technique you'd like to know about, you can put comments beneath the video or you can email me, contact at learntheharmonica.com or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just search learntheharmonica.com. We've got a great community of players of all levels on those social media sites. So please, come and join the conversation. Before you go, make sure you click subscribe to get a free harmonica lesson every single week, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.